welcome back to another video um it is a budget with me um as y'all know if you've seen my post i did mention that um i did get the firm job offer for a position position that lord can i talk a position that i applied for i honestly i think last year and I had an interview earlier this year, um, wasn't expecting to hear anything back just because the process is very slow, but yeah, so my official start date is September 24th, which is a Sunday, um, so I'll be starting on that Monday, um, but yes, y'all, my whole entire budget has been like flipped upside down. Um, I did move some things around and from my binders, like the money, uh, just because obviously my priorities are completely revised um i was recording that video but it was just like extremely long because i was trying to figure out where money should go where i should take money from so uh but yeah so these next stuffings y'all honestly probably for the rest of the year is going to be very like short videos just because um the training is three months in a whole nother city so the job is in houston but training could be in a whole nother state or it could be in Dallas. So yeah, so it's just it's just a lot. But okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, once again, these are all just estimates. I kind of calculate what my hours were and what my estimated pay should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. And then y'all, I didn't bind it yet, but these are available on my site. But okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this. And I do write to the side. But okay, so let's see. I'm estimating my check to be about $2,552.36. This, once I know for sure, I'll do the actual. But um, this is what I'm thinking. And then for my business, I am going to be bringing over. Let me do the math right quick. Okay, so I don't know why, but this is what I'm bringing over. It might actually be more than this. I'm trying to think, because once again, I don't always pull from my business, just sometimes to supplement my income, um, but I'm trying to think. So it might be more than this, but I'm going to go with this for right now. So... We're gonna take 324.99, add 2,552.36, which gives us, yeah, I don't know why I didn't, I, okay, y'all. But we're just gonna go with it for right now. Okay, so my ties will be 256. Rent will be getting 400, my utilities, We'll be getting 75 internet will be getting 55 and okay so your girl has to get a car because it just it just made sense like as much as i wanted to wait and stuff i just know uh with this job and everything like i just needed to get a car i didn't get anything brand new um it's a 2020 chevy equinox so yes your girl got a car payment now and it is we ain't even gonna talk about how much it is because it's just it's a little too much but i already have some money put away for uh september's payment um so i'm just going to be adding this additional amount to uh, complete the total amount um insurance um i just have to pay because me and my kids dad were doing a policy together so um our first like payment thing isn't until September but I already gave him the money so I'm not going to be adding anything to car insurance T-Mobile is getting 110 gymnastics is getting 21 my life insurance is getting 30 and subscriptions is getting 89 and then my annual subscriptions is getting 13 and then Costco is going to be getting 40 this week. 
oh i definitely did that backwards but okay so costco's getting 40 and buffer is getting its usual 50. so now we're going to just add this up let's scoot this over so we have two five six plus 400 75 55 154 110 21 30 89 13 and 90. so we are looking at 1293 going into my bills binder and then we're going to subtract that from 2877 which gives us 1584 left now um so i did get the the car from carvana i was just i don't know y'all i just was trying to do something quick didn't want to really do too much i probably should have explored my options more but i just was like whatever so um not sure if that's the best i like thought process to have but it is what it is um so um my variable expenses is going to be a little bit different a lot a bit different actually um but groceries is going to get 250 oh and i forgot to mention so for costco because i am moving in september um and once again i have three months of training somewhere else so i honestly debating if i should secure a place right away or if i should wait till i'm done with training i do have family and friends out there that i could just stay with for you know a little bit honestly probably like a week or so i don't i'm not trying to like take forever to get a spot but um so yeah, so I'm going to have to get my own Costco membership. So you'll see in my stuffing video that I am saving up to um, start my own membership. So that's why groceries is getting more because for right, for right now, I'm going to just budget anything that we need to grab from Costco straight into groceries. Um, and then this will be going towards my membership. But okay, so gas, gas is going to be getting 220 and that's because I have to fill up um the jeep as well as i just want to make sure i have enough for my car because we do have to go pick it up out of town it's like about two and a half hours away um so i just want to make sure i have enough for us to get there and back um house is getting its usual 50. eating out is going to get a hundred um just because you know we're probably going to eat out while we're um out of town and then me and my kids that is going to split that so that's why i'm just going to do 100. the kiddos are going to get 20. my shopping is getting 30 and buffer is getting 10. so we have 250 plus 220 plus 50 plus 100 plus 30 20 and 10. so for variable expenses we are looking at 680 dollars minus 1584 gives us 904 and y'all that i knew my numbers was off i was like what the heck um so okay so i actually oh, i don't even have white out but i was i did say i was gonna take more um, to where it was going to be 3,100. So I am so sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't feel like trying to find white out. So I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, sorry for her. But uh, my kids dad walked in and he was like, I didn't know you were filming a video. So how much men listen, but okay, so I'm so sorry guys because I don't even know where the whiteout is it's like I don't ever really use it honestly I'm not gonna lie so I'm like I don't even know where it's at but okay so we're gonna take 3100 minus 1293 which leaves us with 1807 which if we subtract the 680 from that leaves us with 1127 okay now moving on to my sinking fund so once again y'all my budget has been completely just changed so 
um, I'm going to continue stuffing my kids binder, a couple of envelopes for my sinking funds um, or my priorities binder and then my car binder. We're going to start stuffing that now. So um, clothes for my kids and this is going to be divided by two because I do have two kids. So 20 in clothes, 20 in sports, 20 in hair. 10 and fun and then 20 and sweet 16 um my savings i did say that you know what whatever i'm going to that i was going to put in my bind envelope i'm just going to keep in the bank once again because oh y'all it's like crazy to explain like because my head is still kind of all over the place but i'm thinking that a lot of stuff is going to just sit in my savings because I want to make sure I have enough for whatever the expectations is for renting a place. So I don't know if I want to rent a home or an apartment and what they're going to require of me. So I just want to leave all that in the bank, to be honest. And then once again, because training is not going to be in Houston, I don't know like what access, like I don't think I'll have access to a bank to where I can pull out exact denominations. It'll most likely have to be from an ATM. So y'all, if my brain is just trying to think too far ahead. So um, I'm not going to put anything in the envelope. But for my mom, I am going to give her 20. Business is going to get 50. Miscellaneous is going to get 10. And then for my car wash envelope, it's going to get 12 for car registration. It's getting 22 for gas. It is getting 12 and I'm going to continue to budget gas um, in my variables, but I also want to save up for it. That way, uh, once I hit a certain amount, I'll start pulling from that and then just continue to go like from that way. You'll once once it actually happens, y'all see, <laughs> I promise it'll make sense. And then car accessories is getting 14. So, 20 times 3 is 60, plus 10, plus 20, plus 20, plus 50, plus 10, plus 12, plus 22, plus 12, plus 14 equals 230. I think this is, is my math mathing, guys? 20, 40, 60, 70, 90, 110, 160, 170, 182, 204, 214, two, okay, let's try this again, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 70, and 80, plus 12, plus 22, plus 12, plus 14 okay so it's 230 minus 1127 leaves us with 897 okay and then as y'all already know i do like to stuff my or budget my challenges off camera that way it's you know somewhat of a surprise so we're gonna go ahead and bring out my um denominations breakdown okay so here we go so for um rent we're doing 400 so one two three and four utilities 50 75 internet is 55 car payment is 150 one two three and four T-Mobile is 110, Gymnastics is 21, Life Insurance is 20, 30, Subscriptions is 89, so 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, Annual Subscriptions is 13, so 10, 11, 12, and 13, and then we have 20 40 going into Costco and then a $50 going into Buffer. 
okay so i feel confident that i did that correctly <laughs> so let's just see we're gonna add this up really fast so we have i cannot see 600 plus 51 52 250 plus 20 46 81 120 plus 40 plus 15 plus 12 and minus my tie or plus my ties that I pay online we have 12.93 which matches up with my paycheck budget okay so moving on to variables groceries is getting 250 so 100 250 gas is getting 220 um how do I want to do this guys I think I'm gonna do in 50s so 51 52 20 house is getting 50 eating out is getting 100 i'm just going to do that in 100 kiddos is getting 20 so 5 10 15 and 20 my shopping gets 30 and it's usual breakdown so 10 20 25 26 27 28 29 and 30 and then buffer gets 10 so let's do this 300 plus 300 plus 20 plus 30 plus 25 plus 5 is 680 so that adds up okay y'all whoa the math is nothing okay and then close or my sinking fund i'm sorry starting with close it's getting 20 so 10 20 30 40 because the sports is getting 20 as well hair is getting 20 which is 210 so 10 20 Fun is getting two fives. Sweet 16 is getting two tens. And then my mom is getting 20. Business is getting 50. Miscellaneous gets 10. Car wash is going to get $12. So 10, 11, and 12. Car registration is getting 22. So 20, 1, and 2. Gas is getting 12, so 10, 11, 12, and then car accessories is getting 14, so 10, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this should be 230. So we have 50 plus 40 plus 120 plus 10 plus 10. Okay okay so that is it um i'm going to budget my challenges off camera and then i will add it to here and then what i'll do is um i do keep this in my bank bag guys these are available on my site um and y'all ignore my nails my daughter painted <laughs> one nail and then this is my bank bag which is also available on site it is available in four colors um but yeah so then what i will do is i will tally all of this up put it on my teller slip and then they are just can just rip them off and then I always just put it right back into the bank bag and then I go to the bank so that is what I'll be doing um if you guys made it to the end thank you guys so much for sticking it out with your girl um y'all these next couple of several months it's going to be I don't even know um but I do plan to continuously post so um there will be videos and y'all will see in real time me just trying to figure out how I'm going to restructure my budget uh, with the move and everything. But y'all, I truly, truly appreciate you guys. We do currently right now, because I will be posting this video today, which is Wednesday. We currently have four more binders available for the 100K savings challenge. So if you have been eyeing it, I definitely suggest getting it because with this move, I think no, I know for sure because like I said, the training is three months somewhere else. I am only going to be selling on Etsy until I secure a place and training is done and I get to go like, you know, move into my place. Then I will be opening up the site again for physical orders. But until um, then, it's just going to be Etsy orders, um, which I'll have linked down below. But yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I honestly can't wait to see y'all in my stuffing video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.